nothing here. Fuck. Run into a video. I did get out by the title. I'm here to show you how to change your Virgin Media IP. Now, unfortunately, this is not as simple as it sounds. Because with Virgin Media, um, I know somebody actually who has a dynamic IP for Virgin Media, but most Virgin Media, uh, Virgin Media, um, uh, you know, people got internet, most of them have a static IP, which basically means the IP will not change. It just stays one IP. Now, what you want really is a dynamic IP. Uh, where it changes like all the time every time you set your internet but like I've just said there with Virgin Media unfortunately most of the time that is not the case so this is what you you're looking at to change your IP with Virgin Media so I've for, so got your Virgin Media router so to change your IP you would basically need a new router that's what we had to do so if you're Virgin Media if you ring them up and say you know me and this getting took down uh, I need a new IP they'll just bring you a new router uh, basically, so obviously you've got a, you know you, a new router will change it completely. It'll change it completely. Now what might work? This is not guaranteed, by the way. This is what this is what I was advised by the Virgin Media team uh, as a hard reset. So what basically means is you have to disconnect everything from your Virgin Media router, take the wire out of the wall for 24 hours. Then obviously once you put it back in, it, there is a possible chance it might change. Might. That's not it. Will change. You know what I mean? That's like a, that's a mite. Now, this is the option that um, that I would go with, the third option. So what you could have is a separate router, right? So what I've got, alongside my Virgin Media router, I've got an Asus router, which is just like a completely, you know, it's, just, it's, it's the same as a Virgin Media router, just obviously just a different, um, obviously a different make. So basically what you do is, you've got your Virgin Media router, you have to put your Virgin Media router on, I think it's modem mode. Then once you've done that, you plug an Ethernet cable in the back of your Virgin Media router into the back of your uh, other, uh, Asus router, which I've got. So that, then obviously that changes the IP as well. Then obviously if things keep happening, you can go back and forward. Um, so like I said, I've got an Asus router, and that that's that's my preferred option anyway. Because if you have like a separate router. You can also do other things on the separate router, like security checks, um, all that good stuff. You can put a VPN on there as well. On the, on the, uh, I've got the Asus router, and you can actually put like a full VPN on that router, which is actually, you know, it's really good. It, it is slow. Unfortunately, the, uh, the VPN on there is very slow, but it does help. Do you know what I mean? So, like I said, the third option, a separate router, just put your Virgin Media router on modem mode in uh, in its router settings. Then you plug your Ethernet cable into back of your Virgin Media router into your other uh, uh, router as well. So yeah, that's the option. Obviously, I, you know I have saved that. The routers, the separate routers, um, alongside your Virgin Media router, um, they are quite expensive. Some are about two hundred pound. So look into the router before you buy it. Um, you know, just in case. You know what I mean? Uh, that one, like I said, the one I've got is an Asus router. So I've got, like, obviously, a Virgin Media router and my Asus router. The Asus is a really, it's a really good router. Uh, but I'm guessing there's better ones. I don't know exactly what, you know, but, yeah. So there we go, guys. And the fourth option is a VPN. Now, this is this has become, this is more, this is better if you do PC gaming. So if you've got PC gaming, you might not even, you might not even need to buy a, uh, um, an Asus router because you can just switch it to VPN on straight away and the IP will just change like that. But if you've got Xbox, if you've got an Xbox and you want your ex if you play on Xbox and you keep on getting DDoS or taken down or something, you will need that Asus router um, to put the VPN on the router so it goes onto your Xbox. Because if you put, how can I explain this? So say if you're getting, say if you're getting DDoS on Xbox, right? I'm trying to think about to say it. So, right, so, if you just put, um, for example, I've got NordVPN, right, I've got NordVPN. Now, when I put the VPN on my PC, it will not go onto my Xbox. So, my Xbox will still show me old IP, if that makes any sense. So, you need another router, like an Asus router, um, for it to fully kick in and go onto your Xbox as well. It's really hard to explain. So, if you put, so, say if you're on your PC... And you put NordVPN on. If you play PC gaming, the IP will change. 
Uh, but like I said, if you're playing on your Xbox, it'll still show your old IP. It will not change. You need a separate router alongside of the Vegemeter router for that to fully go onto your Xbox. Um, it is it, honestly, it is hard to explain. It really is hard. I still don't fully understand it to be honest with you. But you do need um, the Asus router if you want to, or another router, of course. If you want, if you want a hard drive here on Xbox. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully uh, that, that, that is very confusing. It really is. Um, but that's how it works, unfortunately. So yeah, hope this video helped, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. So like I've just said there, if you want to, if you are getting DDoS on Xbox, you will need um, just putting an RVP on the PC would not help. You need it on a separate router, so fully kicks in, so your IP change on your Xbox as well. Uh, like I said, it is it is very confusing, um, but that's just the way it is, unfortunately. You know, there's nothing we do about it. If you've got BT, or if you've got like Tortalk, you should be okay because they have dynamic IPs, um, so you should be good. But I think it's more divergent media where people are having problem changing IP addresses. So hope this video helped, guys. If it did, please give it a like. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And yeah, hope this video helped. Like I said, leave a question below if you stuck with anything else. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you all in my next video. Take care.